Using short form content to grow your social media accounts or your business online in 2025 and beyond is one of the best strategies that you can use. However, the only problem with it is that creating high quality short form content not only takes a lot of time and effort, but if you want to outsource it to other people, it costs quite a lot of money as well. It could cost you 20, 30 or even $50 per clip to outsource it to a professional editor. Now, a lot of small business owners and smaller influencers obviously cannot really justify that so luckily nowadays we have some amazing tools like submagic for example where you can create your own viral worthy clips within just a couple of clicks from your long form content or even if you made it specifically for short form you can add professional captions b-rolls sound effects and everything else to it uh, really really simply so in this video i'm going to show you how you can use submagic and especially their new magic clips feature which allows you to take a full-on long-form video into multiple shorter clips so without any further ado let's jump right into it if you want to follow along click the first link in the description below to sign up for submagic yourself as well so when you first open up submagic this is what you are going to do as you can see when creating a new project you have two options to pick from either you click on generate captions so this is more of their you know legacy feature this is where you just go select your own clip first just upload it there and it's going to add the captions b-roll and everything else for you or you also have this new magic clips feature where you can click on it and simply either upload your video up to two hours long and two gigabytes worth of footage or you can also just paste in a long form video just like this and then as you can see we'll see the thumbnail of that video so this is for example a student interview of mine from my youtube channel and you can choose how long you want the clips to be so let's say 130 to uh, 60 seconds and you just click here on get viral clips and it's going to immediately start grabbing clips from that specific long form piece of content for you now this is how it's looking like and these are the clips that it selected for me so as you can see it got me 13 separate clips from the long form piece of content which was 31 minutes which is not too bad if you ask me and we have everything added here from captions to even some emojis but let's go into one of them for example this clip is titled from 800 euros to 30k so if you want to just you know play it you can play it even here in this little preview window and if you're happy with the result already you can go ahead click here on export and you can go ahead and export it into mp4 and upload it to your social media accounts however you might want to do a little bit more work on it in order to get it right not going to lie the ai very rarely gets to clips like a hundred percent perfectly right where you don't need to do anything on it however it will usually get it like pretty much right you might need to adjust the hook a little bit or the ending a little bit and you might need to add a couple more b-roll clips in there but it's still going to save you like 90 percent of the work which i would say is a pretty good deal so you just click here on the scissor icons this is the part that was uh selected by uh ai for my clip so if i want to get rid of this yeah here which doesn't really add to the hook I could easily do that by just clicking on it and clicking on remove from selection. Now, if I wanted to add something else to my selection, I can also do that with just a click of a button right here. So right now, this is how it's looking in terms of the selection that we have. So I'm quite happy with this. Um, again, if you wanted to add something else to the selection, you could just go ahead, select the part that you want to also add and click on add to selection. And just like that, it added it to the video automatically on my timeline. Now, this is the selection we have. You can also clean up the audio, which will get rid of small spaces with just a click of a button. So I'm going to click on it. You have uh, basically four options to choose from or five if you want to include the silences as well. I'm going to choose the fast option so it will get rid of four silences and get me an extra 1.7 second trim on it. And it even has this filler word removal. So I can remove one word from this specific script if I want to, which is an ah. Okay, so now I'm gonna click here on edit captions because I got the trim right. And from here, I will be able to actually go ahead and customize how my captions are looking. So right now we have this uh, style, which is not bad, honestly, with just this white and kind of like orange-ish background to it. And it's highlighting it as we speak. So 
I don't mind this at all, but we have so many amazing styles to choose from here. So I really like this new Daniel one. I think it looks very cool. It has like this kind of like going uh, layout and also the words are coming up and popping up on the screen as we say them. So I quite like this one. I also really like this Iman style. I think it looks super clean. So I might just going to go with this one. And you can also change the sizing of it, the positioning of it. So I want to position it a bit higher and pretty much everything about each one of these different themes you can fully customize so if you click here on well you first select the theme you want to go with then you click here on edit theme and you can also upload your own font and choose whatever font you want from from all these different options you can choose whether you want to have a shadow on it add the stroke on it how many words you want to display the color of it whether you want to have an animation or not so everything about the actual caption style can be customized now this is how it is looking right now i am pretty happy with this as it is right now now if i come here to the captions in case if there are any small mistakes in the captioning that was done by ai we can still very easily adjust it right here by simply just clicking on it and then you know typing in whatever text you want to correct it to so uh, you can see it also gives you an ai captions accuracy score i got a really high score so there's probably zero mistakes in this but if there was you could easily add that right here now next up we have the b-rolls section so in here you can actually add b-rolls within submagic to your clip which is quite cool let's say here i want to add a b-roll i just click here on this plus icon i can click here and right here i will be able to choose from all of Storyblock's library of hundreds of thousands of clips at this point. So I'm just going to put in here editing because that's what he's talking about. And I can just select whatever B-roll clip I want to use. Let's say I want to use this one and then I'm going to click on apply. And just like that, I can also select where I want uh, the placement to be, whether I want it to be like contained in the video. I want to have these rounded corners, let's say, or I want it to fully cover it. I'm gonna go for the, the cover one, click here on apply. I can also select, of course, the duration of it, like how long I want it to be, when I want the B-roll to start and when I want it to end. And then I can just save it. And uh, yeah, it's as simple as that. Now, if you also want to make some more adjustments to it, you can do that as well. You can even go ahead and add a sound effect to it. For example, if you want, let's say I'm going to add a short riser. And if you want to add a transition as well to your B-roll, you can click here and choose from all these different transitions that they have. For example, I'm going to go with this burn one and I'm going to go ahead and lower the sound effect volume as well. So, so as you can see, this is how we are looking right now. Pretty cool if you ask me. Now, after this, I can also come here on the layout. I can change the layout at each one of the speakers, but in this case, I'm pretty happy with how it's looking right now. And there are also a couple other smaller features in here in the boost section of Submagic. So you can add a short AI hook title. If you click on this, it's going to add a little text in here in the very beginning that will kind of help to hook people in. You can choose from all these different themes as well for this. So for example, the one it created for this one is this one mistake could cost you 30k. Obviously, you can also change the text to whatever you want it to be. I'm going to turn this off right now. You can also get it to generate description and hashtags for you with just a click of a button. This is the caption that came up with uh, pretty good if you ask me you can also add a cover image to it your own logo or branding at any uh, point of the video as kind of like a, a watermark and you can even add music right here you can choose your own songs you have these trendy music selection or you can also select from their own huge library of stock music provided through Storyblocks, which is one of the biggest stock video and music providers in the world. Once you've got your masterpiece that you are very happy with, you can just go ahead, click here on export. You can choose the quality, click on export again, and you will be able to go ahead now after this and download the actual final finished form of the video and upload it to all of social media, whether we are talking about Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, doesn't matter, you can post it everywhere. So if you ask me, this is a really good way to speed up your workflow. And especially if you have something like a podcast or you're making longer format videos, but you maybe don't have the budget to pay someone to clip them for you. And you don't have the time to do it yourself, you know, from scratch and have to go through the entire video. This can be a really good option for you. Because even for example, at the actual selection part of this 
feature, you can click here on get clip manually. And in the transcript, you can actually search a specific word that you are looking for. So for example, here, I probably said hard work at some point in this interview, might have even said it multiple times. If I put that in here, or I put in hard, like you can see, I said it six times throughout the video, or it was said six times throughout this entire video. I can just easily go to that point and then from there i will be able to go ahead and select that part of the clip right so i wouldn't have to necessarily go through this entire 31 minute long interview to be able to find the specific moments i want to clip from it so if you're someone who doesn't have again the time to do everything from scratch and spend hours on finding the right clip and putting on the captions and everything then this could be a great solution for you so i really hope you enjoy this video and thank you also to submagic for supporting the channel and making it happen. If you guys want to try out this new Magic Clips feature, then you can do it. It's an add-on to your existing Submagic account. So if you have a premium subscription, you will already have access to this feature. And I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. It was, it was actually like, I used to make like two to three full-time video editing, but in a job down to like 800. Mm -hmm. I was just editing for the main client. I work with up to this day as well. Mm -hmm. So at the time we paid you, I was making like 800 euros per month, I think. Okay, yeah. so 800 a month. And it's, uh, where are you guys at roughly now with everything? Because at that point you were just a freelance editor, right? Now you started the agency together with Marco. You've been working with a lot of clients. Where are you guys at right now? Now we're at, I don't know correctly, because we don't count it like every month, yeah, yeah. but about like 25 to 30K per month yeah. revenue, yeah.